Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Chevy Silverado 6.6 liter gas engine to the 6.6 liter Duramax to see which powertrain is best in the heavy duty pickup truck. Before we get into this video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Lurch Miller Chevy here in Provo, Utah, for giving me some time with both of the trucks. I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then, on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. The 6.6 liter gas engine produces 401 horsepower and then 464 pound-feet of torque and is paired to a six-speed automatic transmission. Now the 6.6 liter diesel engine, aka the Duramax, is paired to a 10-speed automatic and it produces 445 horsepower and then 910 pound-feet of torque. Now before we move on to the next part, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now I do need to mention a very big imperfection in today's comparison, and that's the fact that the diesel is a 3500 and the gas truck is a 2500. It would have been best if they were both 3500s, but with current supply, got to make do with what you have. However, it is funny to see the difference between the 3500 and the 2500. So here's the 2500 leaf springs. And then you guys can see with the 3500, you have the helper spring there at the top, and that's really the only difference. But anyways, this 2500 with the gas engine has 3,423 pounds of payload capacity. And then with the tow rating, it is 14,500 pounds. You can see the max tongue weight, 1450. And then gooseneck, you guys can see 16,620 for that capacity. Now the diesel is 3,809 pounds. So notice jumping up to the 3,500 but adding the diesel means that, yeah, you lose a lot of payload to the weight of that engine. Anyways, towing capacity, 20,000 pounds conventional. You guys can see 2,000 pound tongue weight and then 21,100 with the gooseneck towing capacity. Now the next thing is gonna be engine price. So the 6.6 gas engine is, well, it looks like a no cost option on the pickup truck. Now, I'm not sure how well this is going to show on camera, but the Duramax costs almost $10,000. Let's take out both of the trucks, drive them, see how they drive differently compared to each other, and then also do a fuel economy test to see which engine gets the best fuel economy. So setting off here in the Silverado with the 6.6 liter gas V6. I reset the trip computer so we'll be able to see what the fuel economy is. Now I just did this route with two half ton trucks and the route ends up being about four-ish miles which I know is not the longest distance but you know I think it's still a pretty you know decent amount of space to be able to get some sort of reading on a fuel economy difference between one truck and another. Now, the first thing that I'm noting with this is it's actually pretty dang torquey. Um, that being said, though, I do feel like I have to get into it a decent amount to get it up to move, which is kind of expected with the gas HD trucks. It's got an interesting sound to it as well. It's very interesting. It's unlike the sound of pretty much any other V8 I think I've ever heard. So I think that's pretty interesting. So far, less than 10 miles per gallon. Ooh, ooh, buddy. Um, but I will say though, I, I think it's pretty quiet. And like I said, it seems like the, the low end torque on this is pretty solid. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be able to get an acceleration here with this truck. So. Let's punch it. Woo! She's got some power. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. You usually don't expect that kind of push from a gasser, but man, this thing, this thing moves. But the fuel economy also moved in the downward direction. <laughs> That's for sure. Now I want to see going up this grade. It's not super steep, but something. If you know, I'm I'm, I'm gonna have to downshift to keep my speed. Good torque. 
I will say the six-speed automatic is not it's not bad. I I, I want to compare it though to that 10-speed because that 10-speed is such a good transmission. It seems like it can hold pretty well in terms of having enough torque to keep us going and even accelerate a little without having to downshift crazy. But obviously this is unloaded. Once you put a trailer behind a truck, that changes everything. But I will say I'm, I'm solidly impressed. So to sum things up, um, and obviously I'll show you guys the fuel economy rating at the end, but to sum things up with the drive with the 6.6 gas engine, uh, it's got good torque actually, uh, power is solid as well. It's got an interesting sound to it, it's very unique. The six speed automatic, you know, it's not as good as some of the modern transmissions we see uh, in pickup trucks nowadays, you know, eight speeds and 10 speeds, but it's, it's, it's better than I thought, frankly. It's pretty good at keeping it in the power band where it needs to be. And I'd say it's a pretty solid powertrain overall, but let's see the fuel economy and then pop over into the diesel. So our fuel economy with the gas engine, 11.4 miles per gallon. setting off in the diesel first off this engine's a lot louder actually quite a bit louder does this one have the camera mirror oh cool it has the camera mirror that's fancy that's what happens when you go from a uh, less fancy truck to a more fancy truck um and also 3500 is definitely a little bit rougher riding compared to the 2500 with compression over the back end again it makes sense right you've got more leaf spring action happening back there but boy oh boy is this thing torquey and like i said the biggest thing is it's so much louder it's a big difference frankly and it also feels like this truck feels heavier um you can i would say you can definitely perceive the weight difference with the truck but man that torque it's such a big difference again 464 versus 910 pound feet it is such a big difference just right off the bat because, I mean, I feel like I barely have to get in the throttle whatsoever, and the truck just moves. We're going to be getting our acceleration here with the diesel. See how this compares to the gas engine. <laughs> oh, man. Huge difference. So, you know, the actual, like, getting up and moving part, like, this feels way more powerful, but... It, I don't know if it's necessarily any quicker. Like, I don't know if the zero to 60 is actually any quicker with this. However, that extra torque, I mean, it's, it's a huge difference. And right here, this really shows, like I'm able to not only hold speed, but like go up in speed very, like way easier than the gas engine. And that's gonna make a huge difference while towing, right? That's where you're really gonna see the benefit of the diesel over the gas engine is while towing, you know, the diesel is just gonna be able to handle it a lot better. Yeah, I love the sound of this too. So summing things up as expected, the diesel is, well, more powerful, right? It's it, like, it has more horsepower, it's got more torque. With that being said though, the actual like acceleration, it didn't seem as different as I would expect given, you know, the torque difference between the vehicles. So that, I think that's quite interesting, but you can definitely feel the power difference. Like I said, like the, the torque part of it, it's just huge. So here's our fuel economy with the diesel, just under 12 miles per gallon. So pulling everything together, I think those are pretty shocking results. I mean, I thought the diesel was gonna be substantially more economical compared to the gas powertrain, but like half a mile per gallon difference between the trucks, which is a lot closer than what I expected. But with that being said, um, I think this comparison really like shed light on how good the gas powertrains can be in these heavy duty trucks. Um, but that also being said, I'd still rather get the diesel, even though like it's heavier, it's more expensive, diesel costs more, you got to deal with def. It's just like the, the driving feel you get with a diesel. However, there are tons of, you know, applications for that gas powertrain obviously you're going to get the highest amount of payload capacity with the gas powertrain again like the payloads with these trucks are so close and that's a 2500 this is a 3500 so if you're looking for payload the gas engine's the route to go but in terms of towing it's not like the gas engine can't tow i mean that'll still tow a lot of weight 
but the diesel can tow more and I'd say it can tow better as well. I've done some uh, towing now with these diesel trucks and yeah, it's, it's just a, it's crazy how well the diesel trucks tow. Cause like with a gas truck, especially when you go up hills and everything, you're just screaming like super high RPMs was the diesel is just joke, joke, joke. And it's just doing it. So yeah. Anyways, let me know which powertrain you like the most after this comparison. I'll see ya.